Hello everyone. Welcome to Advisory Village at DEFCON 29. My name is Abhijit. I am the founder and organizer of Advisory Village at DEFCON conference this year. So what is Advisory Village? So just to, to give a quick intro about Advisory Village. So we are a community with pure focus on to Advisory Simulation, Emulation, Advisory Tactics, Advisory Life, Advisory Stories, Advisory Philosophy, uh, urban survival skills and a bit of popular TV. So I would say uh, there is no globally agreed uh, standard definition for advocacy simulation or emulation. So we are all approaching uh, this concept uh, in, a, in a different manner, right? We are approaching them in a different manner every time, right? So I heard uh, advocacy simulation, emulation or threat emulation, they are basically the same concept but I mentioned before uh, they are being approached in a different way, you know, so that's how people or organizations are defining them, you know, based on how they approach these concepts. Unlike uh, a full scope red team engagement, advocacy simulation is a bit different. So the, the simulation exercises, they always focuses on mimicking the actions of a well-known adversary or well-known threat actor or tactics of an adversary. Right? So that is the, the basic element of adversary emulation or adversary simulation. Adversary simulation could be uh, a continuous process. It would help organizations to uh, deal with an actual attack or a threat actor uh, in, a, in a good good manner. Right? So I would do one thing. Uh, I, I could compare uh, adversary simulation to a martial art. Uh, let's take karate for an example. So what is the purpose of a martial art? So that will strengthen your body, that will strengthen your mind in a continuous process, right? Finally, you get into a tournament or you get into a uh, real life, maybe a street fight. So you could defend yourself in a pretty good manner, right? So if you are getting into a tournament, you can also attack your opponent, right? So that's how, that's the a, that's a purpose of a martial art. So I would, I would, I would compare adversary simulation exercises to a martial art. Uh, as I mentioned before, like, you know, when you get into a martial art, uh, the very first thing, you, you don't get to fight your opponent on your first day at a dojo or on a karate dojo, right? So you get to, the martial will teach you how to take a fall, you know, how to fall on your back, how to fall on your feet, right? The very next thing would be, uh, they will teach you uh, hardening exercises, how to harden your body, right? Then. Uh, then uh, there would be uh, attack movements. So you get to, uh, they will teach you how to punch someone. You get to, you, they will teach you how to, you know, block uh, the, your attack, opponent's attacks, stuff like that. Different karate moves are there. Hundreds of karate moves are there, right? On that is done, uh, then there would be a uh, sequence of uh, karate attacks. They would call us, uh, call it as katas, right? Here, we could compare the adversary tactics as karate movement and the combination of karate movements, which is a kata, can be compared as attack simulation scenario, right? We know that different type of adversary tactics form together to create an attack scenario, right? So let's take an example of uh, what, what happens after you learn the karate movements and uh, karate katas or scenarios. So you, you get to fight with someone, right? So you will be uh, getting a, a sparring opponent, a sparring front. Maybe someone from the same dojo, some of your friends or a colleague. So you get to try out all these attack movements against your opponent, your sparring partner. So in that way, uh, you can fine tune all of your attack tactics. Let's say uh, your attack movements, you know, then you get to better yourself, right? You get to better your attack tactics or defend tactics, right? Let's say uh, the karate tournament is there. So what about karate tournament uh, or kumite? So you could mention that as, uh, compare that to uh, threat intel powered uh, adversary emulation. How is that? That means uh, we know how we, I mean, when is going to be a tournament or who is going to be your opponent, right? So you get to fight against that. You get to fight against that person. In that case, you get to train to defend that person, right? Or you get to train yourself to be perform better the tour tournament, right? So then take an example of uh, uh, a street fight or you are getting into a real or someone is trying to attack you uh, in, on the street or something, right? 
So you could compare that with an actual red team engagement. If an organization uh, is getting into a street fight without having proper defenses, without having proper attack tactics or defend tactics, right? That organization is going to get bullied pretty hard, right? That is on side of it. So in that case, if the organizations are trained well, uh, using adversity simulations, you know, uh, trying to get, uh, you know, the betterment of uh, their different mechanisms, when they get into a street fight, they can defend themselves pretty easily. And maybe if they are they are uh, trying to fall back on fall on their backs, you can they can come up pretty easily, right? So this would be a perfect example to explain uh, adversity simulation, right? So let's just say uh, karate or any other martial art, jiu jitsu or boxing, when it comes into self self defense, they are all going towards a certain goal, right? Similar to that. Adversary emulation or simulation or threat emulation, they are all going towards the same goal, right? The betterment of uh, cyber defense systems and, uh, you know, betterment of new adversary tactics or TTPs, right? So that would be a perfect example to explain adversary simulation to someone in, in, in an easy scenario, with an easy scenario, right? Finally, the goal of adversary village would be uh, to build a strong community of uh, of uh, researchers and organizations who are putting together new means and methodologies towards adversary simulation or adversary simulation tactics. Uh, here, our community, adversary village can be considered as a karate dojo where all the offensive security researchers or adversary could come in, uh, share their knowledge, collaborate on different products, uh, different projects, and uh, you know, sharpen their adversary tactics or TTPs. So that is on uh, goal of adversary village. Then uh, now we can uh, go back to the agenda of adversary village this year. Uh, we are totally virtual uh, at uh, DEFCON 29. There are going to be 24 talks, four different workshops, three panel discussions, and on awesome CTF named adversary wars. And our schedule is going to be uh, starting from August 6, 7, 8. And the timing is going to be uh, 10 a.m. from morning to 8 in the night. Just take a note that our timing is based on PDT time zone. All of these talks and workshops will be streamed uh, via our Twitch or YouTube channels. Just uh, make sure to uh, follow us on Twitter, YouTube and Twitch so that you will be receiving the proper notification when we start with all these events. Also one more point to add. All the Q&A sessions or interactive sessions will be held in uh, DEFCON official Discord server. Just make sure to join uh, DEFCON official Discord server so that you can interact with the speakers after every talk. So having said that, I would like to thank Jeff Moss, our village goon, Kevin and the entire DEFCON community for this opportunity. I would like to thank our mentors, our supporters, our awesome volunteers and our sponsors. Uh, uh, Anand from Not So Secure, Daniel from Zero Point Security, and Martin from uh, Covert. And also, I would like to thank the entire adversary community, entire hacker community who is going to be there at DEF CON this year. Enjoy adversary village this year. Thank you, everyone. See you next time.